So indoor positioning. Um, I think everybody here in the room has encountered a situation where you wanted to find a colleague in the office and you didn't know where he was or she was. You didn't even have a clue if that person was in the building or not. I think that's something that everybody uh, recognizes. Uh, indoor positioning can help you with that. Through indoor positioning and uh, to give people, for example, a tag like this one, which is... Uh, a tag by our partner, Blue Lock. Uh, are you okay? Uh, or via badge, or via even a mobile application on your smartphone, you can actually locate people within a building. You can search people within an, uh, an organization or a building and see on a floor plan where they are located. Maybe they're in a meeting room. And of course you could say, well, we could also call them. That's pretty easy. But if you're in a meeting, it's not so easy to pick up the phone. So that could help. That could be an option in your positioning to be able to collaborate with your colleagues in a better way. Because nowadays, uh, especially younger people are uh, coming to an office to interact, to collaborate, to network with people. And you want to find the right people uh, to collaborate. It's a trend. So, and therefore, you need to find the people and uh, look where they are. And that could help with inner positioning. That's one example of inner positioning uh, with regard to people. And of course, I hear you already thinking, what about the privacy aspect? Hmm? Do I want to be found? Do I want to be found in an organization? Of course, it should not be mandatory. Hmm? You need to be able to opt out or opt in. Very important one. That's a choice that you, uh, you can make uh, as an organization or as a person. I do uh, see that especially younger generations, they want to be found. They all have a million apps uh, that can all locate them anywhere in the world and they even want to be found. So that's a trend that we see within the younger generations. Uh, and so that's going to evolve as well within, uh, within our offices and within, uh, within the, our organizations. So that's one part of indoor positioning. Of course, and Stephen already mentioned that, you can first tag people, but you can also tag assets. In a health environment, in a hospital, uh, it is important to know where the defibrillator is. It could be a critical situation, it could save lives. A fire extinguisher, anywhere in an office building, uh, if you can easily find it, could resolve some problems there. So those are very simple uh, use cases that show the importance uh, of indoor positioning. Huh? People and assets. And thirdly, um, where, it would be, uh, where it could uh, be come in handy is that Stephen has already talked about uh, doing occupancy measurements or occupancy, uh, measure occupancy within organizations. Indoor positioning can also help. If you can locate for a certain period or a longer period the number of persons within your organization in meeting rooms, in workstations, etc., huh, you might be able to use that data to optimize your work environment, to optimize the number of meeting rooms that you need. Or maybe you need smaller meeting rooms because you only have a few people using them uh, instead of those large uh, VIP 25, 35 uh, persons meeting rooms. So you can optimize uh, your work environment with the data that you receive from indoor positioning as well. So three uh, major advantages. And um, I will give you an indication on uh, what it could look like. This is an example. Uh, it's just a, a print screen but we have a live demo that we can show you uh, in the area where we, uh, we will have our uh, walking dinner. Um, it is uh, a plan of this uh, museum where we have located through tags certain people and it shows the dots on the plan. Of course, when you only search one person on its name or its email address, it will only show one dot. That's pretty obvious. 
so that's an, uh, uh, a way of using indoor positioning. And I will all invite you after these uh, presentations to come and have a look at our kiosk and to get some more uh, uh, information on how to use it and uh, what the advantages are uh, in that case. Thank you very much.